What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, it's a beautiful Sunday here in Reno, Nevada. And it's about, I don't know, 5.50 in the morning. Sun's about to rise. And I'm gonna go on a little bit of a adventure, a little exploring trip. So first stop is my parents' house. Um, I keep my ATV at my parents' house. They live just outside of Carson City. So let's load that up into the uh, 2022 Toyota Tundra and hit the road. All right, so we're heading up King Street in Carson City. This is heading west towards Lake Tahoe. Wow, so this place has changed a lot since I've been up here last. So there's Carson City right downtown. This is like the historic west side. And there's a waterfall trail right there. None of this was like this the last time I was here. This was just all dirt. Nothing but just dirt. But they built a, an actual parking lot. Trailer vehicles can park there to unload your ATVs, which looks like a total nightmare. There's not a lot of room for everybody. And then looks like there's a couple more spots up there. If you're lucky, you got to get here early. But yeah, they got bathrooms and handicap parking. Huh, looks like it's limited parking too because maybe what 20 30 spots so if you don't have any spots you're pretty much screwed <laughs> you got to park down in the neighborhood and walk up all right that's cool i don't have a trailer so it doesn't affect me at all so king's canyon trail is really close to downtown carson city if you live in carson city Getting to this trail is literally only like five minutes, which is very convenient and one of the big perks of living in Carson City because you're super close to uh, a lot of the mountains near Lake Tahoe. And uh, that being said, you're going to see a lot of people walking their dogs, a lot of uh, mountain bikers, other dirt bikers and ATVers and even uh, Jeepers uh, go up this trail from time to time, especially on a, a beautiful day on a weekend. This is going to be a, a busy trail for sure but definitely a fun trail. Uh, the crowds thin out as you get to the top of the mountain though. Looks like we got some water. It's getting tight in here. I don't think my truck could fit through here. It's pretty tight. A Jeep could fit in here, no problem. I don't think a Tundra could. Tacomas, Forerunners, Jeeps. Those can come through here, not a tundra, pretty tight. Look at that, it's gorgeous. It's actually, uh, looks like a golf course down there. Yeah, that's uh, Minden and Gardnerville off in the distance. And Genoa is right over there beautiful All right, we got a water crossing, a little tiny one. Cool, pretty tight in here too. You for sure are gonna get some uh, Nevada pinstriping in here if you have a, a Jeep or a Tacoma. This is tight. I mean, you can make it, but you're gonna get stripes for sure. Oh, water, more water. Oh yeah, this is really tight. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I have a ATV on this trail. You can go anywhere with this thing, man. Love it. Oh look, a little tiny, little tiny water crossing.
So this part of the trail has some really big boulders. So if you don't have a lifted vehicle with big tires and a nice suspension, you're probably going to high center the bottom of your vehicle and bang things up and scratch things up. And if you look closely, it's also very narrow too. So if you have a full size truck, you're not going to make it without banging the crap out of your vehicle. But if you have a high clearance vehicle lifted, or if you have an ATV or a dirt bike or side by side, you should be able to make it through there. No problem. Wow, don't fall off here. Woo, yeah, that's Highway 50. Yeah, you don't want to fall off here. It'd be a long tumble down if you uh, went off the, the uh, trail here with your bike. Wow, that's cool. Love it up here. All right, let's keep going. This is so beautiful. I love it. Look at that. You got water in, in August. You still have water coming off the mountain in August. As you go up into the tree line, you get a lot of shade, which is nice, especially on a hot day like this in the summer. so beautiful I love it look at that you got water in in August you still have water coming off the mountain in August if you have a life straw you could probably filter that water and drink it safely in a pinch if you didn't bring enough water
Even though Kings Canyon Trail is a relatively short trail and it's basically a city trail, it really is gorgeous up there in the uh, tree line, up in the forest. If you just want to get away from the city, you could hop on your bike and go up into the mountains literally in like 5-10 minutes. It's pretty awesome. That's what I love about Carson City. It's hard to believe that this was actually a main road from Carson City, Nevada to California. Wagons with cattle or horses would go on this trail and deliver people and supplies. It's pretty nuts because it's, it's pretty tight and it's rocky and rugged and barely enough room for an ATV, let alone you know, oxes and wagons. Once you make it to this clearing, that is a sign that you've made it to the end of the Kings Canyon Trail. And uh, it's a nice place to just hang out, maybe uh, eat lunch. And uh, if you want to just keep on going down the trail, you can, another a couple hundred yards. Uh, but it's going to dead end at um, Highway 50. Well, it doesn't dead end. You can actually get off the trail and go on to Highway 50. So if you have a registered plated vehicle, like a Jeep or some other road going vehicle you can just hop on 50 and go keep on exploring but if you're on an off highway vehicle like a dirt bike or an ATV or a side by side uh, you're pretty much gonna have to turn around once you get to this uh, this flat open area uh, but yeah it's a nice little spot to play around and have fun Looks like we're coming to the end. Yeah, the end of the road. <laughs> we made it to the end of the road. It takes you all the way to Highway 50. Look at that. say it says there is a rock slide across King Canyon Road through travel is only possible by foot bicycle and motorcycle larger vehicles are not recommended past this point yep that's it you can't make it through there unless you got a motorcycle ATV maybe a Jeep if you're if you're good enough I don't know Cool, there you go guys. That is what it looks like to ride the Kings Canyon Trail from Carson City up to almost up to Spooner. Spooner uh, Junction is just right up the road here. I think there's a connector that goes to uh, other trails up in the mountains, but I didn't see them and I wasn't really looking for them. All right, so let's go back and go get lunch because uh, it's getting hot. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Hit that like button to support my channel, I appreciate it, it helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below, let me know what you thought about Kings Canyon Trail just outside of Carson City, Nevada. Thanks a lot guys, have fun.